East Rutherford, New Jersey. Giant Stadium, to be exact, is the setting for today's game. We're here today for our third broadcast of the season. Both of these teams ready to add a victory to their record as the Steelers square off against the Jets. Let's see how it plays out today as we get set for the kickoff. Steelman looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Good distance. From the one. Campbell is able to get it to the 18-yard line. So, John, we expect a lot of big plays in today's game with two of the best offenses in the NFL having at it. The thing about both these teams is they're not just one dimension. Something doesn't work, they make the adjustment and they come at you in another way. I'm looking for lots of big plays in this one. The Steelers with a four man front. Watch a man. He'll pass on first down. Rowing. Complete to the fullback. The third end breaks away from the tackle. Perfect spiral on that pass. This is a guy who can make all the throws out there. He shows a nice touch in the short patterns. He thread it in there against tight coverage. He can put some air in there when he's trying something downfield. So they have first and ten here. Slater, the deep man. It's a blitz with the pass. Link to the running back. Bradford is there on the stop at the 40. Slater, the reception and a five yard gain. Number two sends hey, a man go. in motion. Hey, hey, hey. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Throwing. And this pass is complete. A little pass underneath will give them a fresh set of downs. Yeah, what I like about this quarterback is how much he'll hit the receivers in the numbers. He puts a ball where either his guy will catch it or no one will. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 45 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Gets the pass off, and he hits his car. Daniel gets the reception, but it's only about a two-yard pickup. Second and seven. Ball on the 48-yard line. Come on! Whip, whip, whip! On the carry. Play action. Throws it, and he, oh, he had it and lost it incomplete. He has the hands to make catches on the toughest passes. I'm a little surprised to see him drop that one. Third and seven. Ball on the 48-yard line. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Salah comes up to make the play. At the 48, Campbell can't get past the marker, so it'll bring up fourth down. Howry is ready to pump this one away. Holling looks like he's ready for the return. Fair catch called for. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Dropping back to pass on first down. Puts everything behind this one. It's batted away. The quarterback did a great job at getting some air under that pass. Hitting his guy right in the hand. 
It just looked like he might have lost a little focus as he tried to bring that pass in. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Jets come out in a 4 3. Baker is there for the tackle at the 30 yard line. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 30 yard line. Under pressure, long throw. He can't stay in bounds. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is, where the defenders are, and where the sideline is as you stretch out to make that catch. Hunt was his intended target. King will come in now to punt it away. Campbell will go back to accept this punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 39 yard line. New York on their own 39. Drive at the 39 yard line. First and 10. The 50. Nixon is there for the tackle at the 34. What a beautiful run by Slater. You know, I saw it in practice, and then I saw it in film. And you see it right here. He's as good as everybody says. This guy is a real deal. Ball on the 34-yard line. Hand it off. Floyd comes up to make the play at the 31. Nixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on it. Ball on the 31 yard line. Ball on the 31 yard line. The Steelers come out of the nickel package. Pressure coming. Sends this pass out of play. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Third down, and they'll have to try to get it to the 24 yard line to pick up a first down. The Steelers come out of the nickel pack. Keeps his feet moving. He just unloaded on it. Good run there to move the chains. And what happened there was the defense didn't wrap up well. They just can't try and knock the guy out. They have to wrap when they tackle. Ball on the 22-yard line. Ball on the 22-yard line. They line up in the I formation. He gets the carry. Salah is there on the stop at the 17. Slater with a nice burst through the middle at time. Five yard pickup. Ball on the 17 yard line. Ball on the 17 yard line. We like to crack the rules. The Steelers with a four man front. A little misdirection. Slips the tackle. Bradford comes up to make the play at the six. Slater pushing his way through the would-be tacklers. He picks up solid yardage. It's first and goal at the six-yard line. Here we go. Watch your eyes. Let's go. Let's go. From the start. From the start. Nothing. Goes to the end zone. Pass rolls incomplete. Looking for the touchdown on first down, but couldn't get it to his target. It's second and goal at the six. Boy, the counter play gets away. Gray comes up to make the play at the five yard line. Watch this. When you talk about not giving up on a play, having a motor that's always running, this is it right here. He gets a good shot at him and misses. But he comes back 
and he still ends up making the tackle. Keep the throttle down. Here's a slug guy! Yeah, you see me. Play football! With the carry. And they're in. Touchdown. Look at him here. He wasn't going to be stopped on that one. He's a hard runner. And he just shrugs off the defenders, and he gets in for a touchdown. The point attempt is good. New York is now up by a touchdown. He's just about ready to kick this one away. And he got all of that one, a great kick. This one is handled by Hollings. Now it's their turn to do something on offense. They're down by a touchdown early. But these guys have the kind of offense that can score any time they have the ball. Ball on their own 20. The Jets come out in a 4-3. With the throw, Warwick is there for the tackle at the 41. You can count on him to make a handful of great catches throughout the game and really get that field stretched. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. One more, fellas. Hunt in motion. Will, will, will. Let's go. Keep it off. Number 50 is there on the stop at the 42 yard line. I know they didn't get much, but it's all about making the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. Ball on their own 42. Ball on the 42 yard line. Go make the play. The Jets with a four man front. Hands it off to the back. Nice play fake. Gets the pass off. Nearly intercepted. Price was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Warren had the coverage on the play. The Jets come out on a nickel pack. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted. The defender got in between the ball and the receiver again. King comes into the game for the punt. Campbell is the deep return man. Thirty-one yard line. Twenty-six yard punt. Return for a gain of one yard. The first and ten. We'll start the drive at the thirty-four yard line. First and ten. Come on, Slater, the deep back. Let's go. Let's go. The rush is on. With the throw, knocked down at the line. James was the intended receiver on that play. Next was there on the coverage.
second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Only one man in the backfield receives the handoff. Brett is there for the tackle at the 38-yard line. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. Four-yard gain on the play. It's third down and six to go. Drops back. Going long. He's there for the catch. He picks up 31 yards on third down. The Steelers come out in a 4 3. On the call, Price is there for the tackle at the 26-yard line. This is one of those games where you just keep running it at him. Four yards here, five yards there, loosen him up, and then wham! You knock him out late in the game with that long touchdown run. Hey, watch that screen! The Steelers with a four-man front. Hand it off to the back. Lloyd is there on the stop at the 23. Running the ball consistently is a first step in creating a balanced attack. The 20-yard line would net them a first down here on this third down play. Cross play to the right. Nixon makes the tackle, but it's beyond the marker, so they pick up a first down. After one quarter of play, the score is 7 0. Jets. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Ball on the 20 yard line. The last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. Hands it off to the back. They're going to spot this one at the 17 yard line. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. And this is the eighth play of this drive. They're in the red zone. They'll make this a two possession game if they get into the end zone on this drive. They're just inside the 20. Slater busted through for a few tough yards. This back loves to hit the defenders when they come close in for the tackle. He sees the hit coming, lowers his shoulder, and then boom, the defender's left lying there in his back. And they're 12 yards away from the end zone. The Steelers come out in a 4 3. On the call, he's brought down behind the line for a short pass. Can't get to the marker on third down, so let's see if the place kicker comes in now. Number nine heads out onto the field for the field goal attack. Good. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get them a TD. Howry in to kick this one off. This one is taken by Hollings. This is where you want to respond quickly, or this could turn into a battle for field position. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Jets come out in a nickel package. 
going to the air on first down. Throwing. Baker has it. The defensive coordinator knows their tendency. He sent his guys out there looking for a pass. He put it up, and boom, they get the interception. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. The Steelers come out on a nickel pack. Receives the handle. Right is there on the stop at the 22. Slade so takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Second and seven. The Steelers with a four-man front. Looking to run it here. Lloyd comes up to make the play. At the 20. Slade battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. If they can get it to the 15-yard line, they'll get a first down. Watch the snap down. There we go, baby. Rock and roll. The last time they were inside the 20, they came away with three points. Throwing. Someone gets a hand up and it drops to the ground. Gray had his hands up. I think he was invisible out there. It wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. This officially will be a 37-yard attempt. Veteran kicks it through. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. Howry will be kicking off. Nice distance. This one is taken by Hollings. In the last series, they forced a bad pass and got the interception. The Steelers will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Jets line up in a 4 3. Going to the air on first down. Throws it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Malone had his hands on it. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Jets with a four-man front. With the counter play. Puts on the juke. Number 92 is there for the tackle at the 27. You can't have a good running attack without blocking. But blocking alone won't get you what you need. You got to have a back who can find the holes when they're there. Third down and three coming up. Holling, the deep back. They'll go with a play fit with the throw. Right on target to the wide receiver. Seems like all they have to do is just throw it to you, this guy, and he finds a way to come down with it. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week, and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there, he just showed us why. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. The Jets line up at a 4 3. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. And he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. Second it's second down and a long way to go. The Jets with a four-man front on the call. Court comes up to make the play at the 41. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Third Ball on their own 41. Ball on the 41 yard line. Don't stop, don't stop that motor. 
Defense lines up in the nickel. Gets the pass off. Duncan is there on the stop at the 38. And they don't pick up nearly enough for the first down, John. I'll tell you, this is such an odd decision. You've got to be able to execute a play with deeper options when you've got third and long. King is ready to pump this one away. Campbell lines up deep for the punt return. And he chooses not to return this one. It's first and ten. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. He gets the carry. Sharp slipping. Sanders is there for the tackle at the 31. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and two coming up here. When you run the ball in the first half, you're trying to keep the defense on. But if you're only getting gains like that in the second half, then it puts more pressure on your passing game. Gain of two. Third and under a yard. They've executed very well on third down so far, and that's a big reason why they're ahead at the moment. Good call that time. Got just what they needed. They didn't get a lot of yards with that one, but they got just enough to convert for the first down. All you have to do. First and ten. Ball of the 34 yard line. The Steelers with a four-man front. Gray comes up to make the play at the 35. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. So it's second and ten. They give it to the halfback. Bradford is there for the tackle at the 44-yard line. You got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be a great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right into the end zone. Two-minute warning coming up. These third downs haven't been much of an obstacle, and it's helped them take the lead. Lloyd brings him down, but they get enough to move the chains. Everything they do works on third down. Yeah, no matter what down it is, when you keep moving the chains and you keep the defense out in the field, you're having a productive drive. So two minutes left before halftime. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. And he gets with the lane handle. William is there for the tackle at the 48-yard line. Slater picks up some tough yards there. And this is the eighth play of this drive. Ball at about midfield. Gets rid of it. Drops the interception. He's back in his own. He's reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. And then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. And this is the ninth play of this drive. The Steelers with a four-man front. With the pass in and out of his hands. Pretty good play call on that one. Everything happened just as it's brought up. Just couldn't hang on to it.
come in now to punt it away. Hollings into return. From the 24. Keeps his feet moving. Holling with some good yardage on that return. Back to the 38. An effective two-minute drill will give them the opportunity to put some points on the board before the half. Ball on their own 38. Going to the air on first down with the throw. Incomplete as the defender backs it away. He needs to do a better job putting the pass in the spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. Number 83 was his intended target. Second and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. Hey, watch that screen. Hollings, the lone setback. Throws this one away. It didn't appear he made it outside. Here's the That one's going to be called intentional grounding. The quarterback needs to move outside the tight end box to throw the ball away. If he throws it before he's out of the box, it's a penalty. there for the tackle. So we should see the punter after they fail to convert on third down. Campbell sets up, waiting for the punt. And he waves for the fair catch. Hey, this is why you run those two-minute drills in practice for a situation like this. The only difference is this isn't the scout team defense. The First and ten. We'll start the drive at the 24-yard line. First and ten. Pressure with the pass, and it's caught. A successful offense is one that can run and throw for good yardage on first down. Second and less than a yard. Number two stops the clock there. Just about a minute left. Ball on the 34 yard line. Two quarters, two quarters. The Steelers with a four man front. Rowing. He hits his receiver. Salon comes up to make the play at the 45 yard line. God, he has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. And that makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. First and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Closing in. He lost it. The Steelers scoop it up. Number two is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and will get you an injury report as quickly as possible. Ball on the 37-yard line. Ball on the 37-yard line. Only one man back. Here we go. Go low. Go low. off to the back. Alone. He's there on the stop. At the 36. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Number two. Goes back into the game after being injured earlier. Keep moving. Turn it up now. We're talking about Bree. What's the hard count? With a counterplay, the Steelers call a timeout. They have one left, and the quarterback runs with it and ends up going nowhere. 27 yard line is the spot they'll have to get it to to convert on this third down play. 
The Jets line up in a 4-3. Under pressure, gets the pass off. War hammers him at the 38-yard line. Watch this. He stands him up, and he puts him right down. That stopped it in your tracks right there. At the end of two, the score is 13 nothing. Jets. 13, the Steelers, nothing. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Howry is back and ready to put this one in the air. Nice pick. Plenty of distance. This one is handled by Hollings. This team is going to have to focus a lot more than they did in the first half if they're going to come back. First, first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Here we go, man. Hey, watch that three. The Jets with a four-man front. Gets the pass off, and it's caught. Number 92 is there on the stop. Gray picks up about four yards on that reception. Ball on their own 23. The backs are lined up in an eye. Keep the throttle down. With the pass, he finds his man. Baker comes up to make the play at the 34-yard line. John, he's proven he's a consistent target. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. First and 10. Ball of the 34-yard line. Holly, the lone back, setting up play action. Throws it. Almost picked off. Good timing, getting in between the ball and the receiver to save what would have been a big game. Second to ten. Ball of the 34 yard line. Keep it up. The Jets come out in a 4 3. Aimed it off to the back. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass play. It's third and down and nine to go. The Steelers line up in a five receiver set this time. Look for the wide receiver, Abraham. Harris has done one for a first down. Let me tell you, the biggest pass rush in the world when to stop that one. Ball on their own 47. Ball on the 47 yard line. Howling in the backfield. Bart is there for the tackle at the 49 yard line. The defense held their positions and didn't let them get very far. Second and six. Ball on the 49 yard line. On the ground. Number 50. Comes up to make the play. No place to run on that one. And the thing is, when you don't get underneath the defensive line, you're not going to have the leverage that needed to knock them off the ball. And that time, the defense had all the leverage. 
eighth play of this drive. Ball at about midfield. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Gets the delayed handoff. Baker is there on the stop. That will keep the chains moving. Yeah, and that makes two times in this drive they've given up the first down on third down. As a defensive coordinator, giving up those types of yards will drive you absolutely nuts. First Ninth ten. play of this drive. Ball on the 37 yard line. The Jets line up in a 4-3. Dudley comes up to make the play at the 35. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. And this is the 10th play of this drive. On the, 35 -yard line. the Jets come out in a nickel package. Pumps once. Rowing. He finds his man. Murphy is there on the stop at the 17. A powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. Inside the 20 for the first time today, and we're in the third quarter. Looking for room. Malone comes up to make the play at the 14-yard line. Collins takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Twelfth play of this drive. Down inside the 15. The Jets come out in a 4-3. Throws it. He finds his man. It's usually a good call to throw it in his direction, John. Yeah, he's got some of the best hands in the league. He'll catch just about anything he can get to. I think he's most effective when they really need to catch. Third down, things like that. First, that's when he really shines out there. He lost it. The Jets grab the live ball. The defense does a great job breaking that up and getting the recovery. Yeah, they had a good push, and they got into the backfield, not letting the runner escape. And that arm came in to whack it loose. First and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Play football! The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Salah is there for the tackle. And below, you can see how these two teams have done the turnover battle. Ball at midfield. Ball on the 48 yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. go for hard count. The Steelers with a four man front. Shannon, the motion man. Let's go, big juice. He hands it off. Salam is there on the stop at the 46. Pickup of about five that produces a fresh set of downs. Yeah, and the offensive line did a pretty good job picking up the blitz, giving him the extra time he needed to find the hole. First Ball on the 46-yard line. On the 46-yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. Gives the ball off. They're going to spot this one at the 37-yard line. He's put on a tackling clinic so far. He now has eight in the game. Second, second down and one to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Not today. Here we go. The Steelers come out in a 4 3. Let's go now. Check it. Come on. They're coming with the blitz. Gets the pass off. Nearly intercepted. Thomas was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Nixon with the coverage. Third and one. Ball on the 37-yard line. Hey, let's go, 
They've done very well on third down to this point. Looking to run it here. Pressure coming. Short pass to the fullback. Bradford is there on the stop at the 32. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. run and he can tackle and he watches so much tape that he actually anticipates what the offense is going to run before they call the play. it off to the back. Sanders comes up to make the play. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry but there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Gain of six on the play. Consistent success on third down, which they've had, usually translates into a win. Gray is there on the stop at the 21 yard line. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. This is the 10th play of this drive. Let's see what they can do in the red zone. So with the ball in the red zone, they have a very good chance of extending that lead. Hand it off to the back. This one will be spotted at the 11-yard line. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. And this is the 11th play of this drive. Down inside the 15. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. We've completed three quarters of play, and the score is 13-0. Jets. The Steelers. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. 11 yards to the end zone. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Cross to the right looking for the first down. Keeps his feet. Right tackles him, but not before the first down is reached. The defender got into the backfield, but he managed to escape and get the first down. That's what every good bat needs. The ability to get past that first tackle. Especially if he's in your backfield. And this is the 12th play of this drive. They're down inside the 10. The backs are lined up in an eye. Tucks it away. Salah comes up to make the play at the 10. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ten yards nine. away from the end zone. Ball on the ten yard line. All right, here we go. The Steelers come out in a four three. With the counter play. Bradford is there on the stop. I'm impressed with their running it. It's a big part of their offense. And they've done a great job taking advantage of blocking up front. 
So it's third down, and they can actually get a first down without getting a touchdown. Slater, the deep back, going to the right. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Nothing doing on that running play, so they'll probably send in the kicker. I think so. When you've got the lead, you don't have to try anything fancy. You just tack on the three and put the game in your defense's hands. This will be a chip shot. Through the uprights and good. The Jets now enjoy a two touchdown lead. He's just about ready to kick this one away. That one is out of the end zone. If they want a shot in this one, they got to put something together on this drive. There just isn't much time left. So they have first and ten here. The Jets with a four-man front. Pressure stepping up. Gets the pass off. Picked off. It's intercepted. Harrison has that one picked off. The ball and the defender and the receiver all got there at the same time. Ready to go following the interception. Everything you've got. Get it, get it, get it. Number 36, the lone back. Salam is there for the tackle at the 21 yard line. Number 36. And very little help up front, maybe a yard or two on the play. Ball on the 21 yard line. Slater, the deep back. Let's go, boys! Tosses it out to the right. This one will be spotted at the 24-yard line. He's had a tremendous performance, and the offense can't get him blocked. Third and ten. The defense has had difficulty stopping them on third down. Quick the carry. Fight comes up to make the play at the 24. Fourth down upcoming, but they're in position to add to their lead. Yeah, and that's what they wanted to do. Control the ball and the clock. While getting into position, to add at least three points. Number nine will try to come through with the field goal here. The field goal attempt is good. And after the field goal, they now go up by 19 points. Howard will be kicking off. He got all of that one. He got all of it, and it sails out of the end zone. They need one quick score, and then some more. Ball on their own 20. Uses the pump. Rowing. And it's caught. The 40. Dudley is there on the stop. 
at the 48. Perfect execution to get this first down. Look at it here. He knows how far they have to move the chain. And he gets it by making the right decision and laying it in there like that. Course his third tackle of the game. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chains. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. So after that nice catch and run, here's a look at his stats. Watch him in. Here we go. That's on the field, baby. Come on. Be strong, be strong. To carry it. Westbrook comes up to make the play at the 36. He gets some decent yardage on the run, but John, they're using up precious seconds. What they really need to do is put the ball in the air. Put the pressure on the secondary. Ball on the 36-yard line. Ball on the 36-yard line. Down and right. Clear! Clear! The backfield is empty, and they'll go with five receivers. Gets the pass off. Loop for the wide receiver. Nice call going to the air, and that'll move the chain. First and ten. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Jets with a four man front. Throwing. Almost intercepted. And Barry was the intended receiver on that play. The Baker had the coverage on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 27 yard line. Nothing. I don't get nothing. The Jets come out in a 4-3. Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. He's always been able to catch a ball. He has soft hands and good body control. He ran a good route, and the quarterback made the right read. He just didn't bring it in. Third and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Jets come out in a nickel package. Dropping back. Throws it. Gets his hand on it. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. And that's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. No stop, no stop, that motor. Watch the slip now. Difficult situation here, but not much else they can do but go for it. Pumps once. Under pressure. Going deep. Ooh, nearly picked off. And when you're down by this much, you're forced to go for it, but they came up short. In this type of situation, the team needs to try anything they can to get into the end zone. This time, they fell short. The Jets will start the drive at the 27-yard line. First and 10. One more, fella. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. He hands it off. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25-yard line. Hey, watch the screen. Check it out, baby. Looking for room. He's brought down behind the line for a short pass. The defensive tackle stops him at the line of scrimmage. Two-minute warning coming up. Slater is the deep back. 
Shannon, the motion man. On the ground. Whitman is there on the stop at the 24-yard line. He played it safe, stayed on the ground, nothing doing. Comes into the game for the punt. Holling back to return. Andy signals for the fair catch. First and ten. Ball on the 29 yard line. Do something, do something. Only one man back. Driving back to pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Dudley is there for the tackle at the 45. They're going to go with a no huddle. Pass play here on first down. Steps up with the pass. Drops the interception. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air. But it might be a little too late. Second and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Steelers come out with the receivers bunched on both sides. He hits his receiver, and he's forced out of bounds at the 47. Number 83. Didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Third and maybe two. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here on third and short. Throwing. He hits his receiver. The 10. Touchdown, Steelers. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. And it's six points. The extra point attempt is good. The Steelers have just made it a two-score game. This team can put up some points, but this might be a little too deep a hole. And they'll try the onside kick here because they don't have much of a choice. They have to get the ball back. Here's the onside kick, and they don't recover. The Jets will start this drive from the 41-yard line. Ball on the 41-yard line. You can't stop me. Regular. Let's go. Slater, the long back, hands it off to the back. Bradford is there on the stop at the 32. And that's a gain of about eight. Second and two coming up here. The Steelers with a four-man front. Here we come. With a counter play, can't bring him down. Williams is there for the tackle. Johnny was able to get away from a defender who broke into the backfield to get the first down. If you get into an opponent's backfield, you've got to make the stop. It's first and ten. Blue game, blue game. So they'll just wind the clock down and get out of here with a win. Ball on the 31-yard line. Ball on the 31-yard line. Not today. 
The Steelers line up in a 4 3. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hold the look. Tailback Gray is there on the stop at the 27 yard line. He's one of those guys that can put up 100 yards week in and week out. This has been just another day at the office for him. Up top, up top. Play hard and fast, baby. Watch your eyes. Come on, And there's the kneel down by the quarterback. Six yard field goal. The kick saves through the uprights. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. have a chance for a return here. First so this could be the last play of the game. Not much left they can do here even if they score it's still over. Steps up into the pocket, looking for the long completion down the left side. Almost picked off. Not a lot of points, but not close either. Two touchdowns separating the two teams. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.